Are we ready? Okay, so this is the Jacob's Ladder. Be sure that you put the belt on around your waist. Um, it actually has a height chart on here, like this. Um, you want it to be kind of snug, but listen, you guys, it's not like you're gonna be going so fast that you're actually gonna fall off. You may feel like that, and you may feel like maybe you're gonna trip up or whatever, but this is just a safety belt. So when you do start to get a little out of control, maybe it's your first time on there, once you hit a certain point, this right here is going to stop you to prevent you from going to the floor. So there's two ways you can go about doing this. Um, you can grab the bars first and just do from the waist down. So just legs only. It is going to start once you start climbing. So once you get up to the top, you're gonna to see the tension on the belt. That's gonna release the machine to go, just like this. Nice and steady. If you want to include your arms like you are climbing a ladder, what I suggest doing is to find a focal point out in front. So for me, it's like those two numbers right here where it says heart rate. That's where I like to look at. Otherwise, I'm going to get kind of ahead of myself and start to kind of lose focus a little bit. You can go as hard and fast as you want on here. And I'm going to tell you, it's really sad. I'm already out of breath. Not a good sign, probably need to be doing it more than I am. But um, this is something that you have to put work into in order to really get something out of it. Just like the row machine. So let's just go over here really quick. The row machine. You've got to put work into the row machine. What do you think I mean by that? Well, what I see often is people get on here, after I get my big feet in here, and this is what they do, okay? This is what I see. And then they'll say, Rand, I'm not getting anything out of that. Well, no, you're not. You actually gotta put work into it. So we're rowing and pushing through our legs. Now, if you'll come around the front here. As you can see, the bar is going right underneath my chest and actually hitting my stomach. And you'll see my toes are coming up. That's because I'm kind of powering through my feet. So the foot pedals also adjust to your feet, like your shoe size. And this right here um, slides up and down. So the higher it is, the more resistance it gives you. The lower it is, the easier it is. But still, you gotta put work into it. 